yeah it's working right away like you can see it immediately 44 and this one is 55 hello it's ali i designed it and 3d printed eight scale toyota supra with a simto engine but there is one thing i hate about this engine and i always have a problem with that so i'm using a simto engine that uses nitro fuel you're supposed to use 20 percent nitro fuel but in spain it needs a special license to get that fuel and i don't have that license so i'm using 15 percent and with the 15 percent you don't have that much power to compensate the power i increase the fuel and when you increase the fuel either it will choke it or it will burn the glow plugs so when it burns glow plugs you don't have any idea which one is it so you have to take it out and these clips are so fragile i have broken so many so far and you have to either solder it or order it again so these are the glow plugs so much because of the fuel i'm using i had to buy it in packs and change them when it burn it but the annoying problem is you don't know which one is it so you have to take both out and test it either with the ignition that comes with the engine or with the multimeter if you have one so if you are using nitro fuel i'm sure this will be helpful for you and it will save you so much time so what i have here is a thermal camera and it will make your life way easier and i will show you so let's take it out it comes with its manual type c cable and here's the camera itself so i'm gonna test it right away and show you it takes some time till it turns on but you have so many modes to choose from them but one i really like and it's infusion and you will choose red iron with this one when you press it it will show you exactly the temperature so right now we don't have any temperature on it it's like room temperature and if i show it my hands like exactly showing the temperature but yeah now i'm gonna turn it on and see which glow plug is not working all right i'm gonna use it right away and immediately i can see this one is working and this is not working usually i have this one is burning which is more annoying but now this one is not working so it's way easier to know which one is burned one so we're gonna take it out and replace it. These are so annoying. If you have the same problem, let me know in the comment section below. I'm sure you guys have figured that out. All right, let's clip it and now I'm gonna test it yeah it's working right away like you can see it immediately so we saved it so much time and testing and the camera showed right away okay of the camera i saw something really cool and i wanted to show you now the fender is cold we don't have any temperature over there and if i put my hand over there and leave it for a while then remove it now we can see the temperature it was so cool that's why i wanted to share with you it looks like predator movie you have no idea how much time i had to spend to know which one is not working and this is a two cylinder simto engine imagine if you have four or six so you're gonna have to take each one out and test them but it was so easier like this so sometimes i had a problem with the first layer adhesion with the bamboo labs h2d and when i put the temperature on 55 on the bed and check it here now it reaches 55 and we can see that we have some of the spot are cold here now it's 44 and this one is 55 so it's a big difference between them and if you are running the printer right away if you are using asa especially that filament is sensitive with the temperature change i was very curious why sometimes these prints fails when i put it in some places of the bit and now i can see it but i'm sure when you leave the printer for a while and that bit will be same temperature there will be a bit difference but not that much and now it's rising and that color will be a bit close to each other so now it's 48 by 55 it should be 55 but now this is 50 here 49 and the middle is 52 53 and we have some cold spots like 49 
even though it shows here that it reaches 55. Now after giving it some time, now we can see the temperature difference is way less. Now here we have 49 as the lowest and the highest we have 50. What about the middle? We have 53. Usually when I come here and it's cold in the room, I increase the temperature 3 to 4 degrees Celsius on the bed and I don't have any problem with that. But it was a good experience to show you why I have that problem and I'm sure you had something like this too. And now we're gonna test it on X1C as well. Alright, the printer is on. Now we're gonna put the bed temperature on the 55 again. We can see it's more uniform even when we turn it on and i only see the difference in the corners but yeah it's really cool to see what is the highest and what is the lowest temperature and where is it exactly it was very interesting to test it out and i still can see the h2d have some temperature even i left it and the x1c cooling down and for those of you who've been asking me for the electrical version file now I'm running a crowdfunding campaign on MakerWorld and I will launch it very soon. You just have to click here to get notification when the files are launched. It was really good experience to test this out and I wanted to share with you. I will make sure to put the product link in the video description box below if you want to check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.